Hey everybody, wanted to throw a quick video together to talk a little bit about crackers. So next week, when you talk about week two, you're gonna lose all of your gluten, but we're gonna leave things in there like rice for one more week. We wanna give you the opportunity to kind of wean off a little slowly because we do know that when you drop gluten out of your, out of your life, it can cause some headaches and things and you just find you need something to eat. So we're gonna allow you to keep rice in your diet for week two. And the reason I bring this up is that snacking is gonna always be an issue. Everybody always says snacking, snacking, snacking. Um, crackers and goat cheese, you can have goat cheese on the 28 day healthy reboot in week two, um, would be a great option for you. Or crackers and almond butter, or crackers and walnut butter, or crackers and egg salad, because you'll still have eggs in week two and I'm gonna teach you how to make a nice egg salad or crackers and chicken salad. Again, the healthy version of chicken salad, not the version that you're usually used to. So when you're looking to buy crackers, there's gonna be a lot of gluten-free options. Most of them you will not be able to have on this program. And the reason is, is they're gonna be loaded with those omega-6 oils. They're gonna have sunflower, safflower, and all that type of stuff. There are a couple of crackers that I absolutely love. This one is called Koyo. You can see it's organic sea salt rice crackers. Now. Koyo makes many different flavors. You have to read the ingredients because they will put soy in some of their crackers. This is just organic white rice, organic brown rice, and sea salt. Now, as far as making rice in week two, you will not be making any white rice as a side dish, but in a cracker, it is fine. This is Edward and Sons. You can see gluten-free organic brown rice snaps. Um, these are unsalted and plain. Uh, these, again, their only ingredients in them is rice. But if you look on the back, they make all kinds of flavors. Most of these you will not be able to have because they are going to add things in them. Places like Trader Joe's make sweet potato crackers or Mary's is a big gluten-free alternative. When you read those boxes, you're going to find a lot of them have either soy, soy lecithin, sunflower, safflower oil, um, or other things that you're not going to be able to have. So really, when you're out in the supermarket next time, start looking at crackers. Uh, you wanna look for, again, either Edward and Sons or Coyo. Coyo's out of Rhode Island. It's actually a Rhode Island distributor um, for those of you folks who are coming from Rhode Island. Um, those are gonna be good choices. So start looking ahead now, going through the closet and seeing what you've got, and then trying to find a good alternative. If you are a snacker, or you know you have to go to someone's house next week, uh, you wanna be able to bring something that you know you'll be able to eat. Alrighty, quick video. I'll catch you soon.